The question whether different vaccines, specifically Sinovac versus mRNA vaccines, are as effective in preventing Omicron infection has always been a controversial issue, especially with the recent study that was published on April 12th, which is again being used to elicit fear among Sinovac vaccinated individuals, creating a lot of steer in social media, including Twitter, and also I'm being bombarded with questions to comment on this publication. So what is this controversial issue about regarding Sinovac as less effective than Pfizer or Moderna? That's what's this. In a recent article from Channel News Asia, it headlines that people who got Sinovac vaccine nearly were five times more likely to develop severe COVID-19 infection than Pfizer. And this was a Singaporean study. In fact, the data that was published is now being used against China for using Sinovac and blaming it on the current surge in Shanghai. Unfortunately, we know that if you look closely at the study, this is an old study in the sense that the study involved around 2.7 million people in Singapore aged 20 and above who received two doses under the national vaccine program, either Sinovac or Pfizer. What they found out was that people who took Sinovac coronavac vaccine were nearly five times more likely to develop severe symptoms than those people who got the COVID-19 vaccine from Pfizer. Of course, they found that two doses of Moderna was actually far better than two doses of Pfizer was far better than two doses of Sinovac. More likely, the two doses of Moderna actually had lesser risk of developing severe COVID because Moderna had higher mRNA content compared to Pfizer and a longer interval between the two jobs. Now, if you look closely at the data, this study covered the seven-week period in 2021. And this was the period between October 1 to November 21, and it was during the time that Singapore was under the surge of the Delta wave. The study likewise showed that individuals vaccinated with two doses of the inactivated whole virus vaccines were observed to have lower protection against COVID-19 infection compared to those who were vaccinated with mRNA vaccines. But again, this study was done during the Delta wave last year. However, overall, the study concluded that both mRNA vaccines and inactivated whole virus vaccine like Sinovac continue to provide sufficient protection against COVID-19, severe disease, and vaccination remains the key strategy against the pandemic. So the recent surge of COVID-19 cases in Hong Kong due to Omicron, however, has given us a better, updated and newer information with regard to Sinovac as definitely an effective vaccine against death in the population studied. This new data from Hong Kong, which was published from the CDC of Hong Kong government, include cases up to April of 2022 and involve individuals who already received three doses of Sinovac or three doses of the Pfizer. So in the source provided, the CDC provided information that, number one, during the fifth wave of COVID-19 in Hong Kong, the higher percentage of death really occurred among the unvaccinated by 70%, clearly showing the vulnerability of the unvaccinated in succumbing to Omicron severity and death. Likewise, if you look closely at the case fatality rate in the Hong Kong data, if you receive only two doses of the Zinovac versus Pfizer, definitely 
two doses of Sinovac was inferior compared to Pfizer because the case fatality rate among those patients who received two doses of Sinovac tend to be higher compared to Pfizer. But this is the but. The difference between the two disappeared after three doses of Sinovac were given with case fatality rate now similar to Pfizer at a very low point, 0.04%. It is really therefore advisable for all of us to get a full three-dose regimen of whatever COVID-19 vaccine, whether Sinovac or mRNA vaccine, because both will have similar effectiveness against death and severe COVID-19 infection. Furthermore, when they look at the data among the elderly population, they found out that the risk of dying among elderly is significantly higher being unvaccinated, while the risk of death significantly dropped in the same manner. Again, in the same manner, the same effectiveness, whether you received three doses of Sinovac or three doses of Pfizer. Which comes to a very important conclusion. That one, over 95% of cases in the study were elderly aged 60 years and above. And those unvaccinated were the ones who succumbed to early death. Second, having the first dose of any vaccine already offered observable protection. And third, the timely having the second and the third doses definitely have been shown to enhance protection, whether you receive Sinovac or whether you receive Pfizer. And therefore, early vaccination for all, including the booster shot, can provide significant protection for all of us. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe. See you again soon.